Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll see one more concept in operating system that is thrashing. Okay, so thrashing means it is a situation where the CPU spends some more time in servicing the page faults. So we know what is a page fault. So the C if, if the CPU wants to execute a page from the main memory, which is not available in the prime main memory, immediately the page fault will occur so that the operating system will be up, uh, doing the two operations that is a swap out and swap in so that we have discussed in our previous session right so that situation we call it as a thrashing so without delay let's start the session thrashing thrashing so It is a situation when the CPU spends more time on servicing page fonts. Okay, so here what is a page fault we know that cpu will be executing the process only from the main memory so this is the main memory okay so we know that the main memory will be divided into different frames and there will be a one more memory which is a large in size it is called as a secondary memory so the processes will be residing in this secondary memory and each process will be divided into pages so here we are calling it as a pages and the main memory we are calling it as a frames so what happens the cpu executes the process only from the main memory so these pages will be loaded into frames of a main memory that we have discussed so whenever the cpu is requesting a page from the main memory where the page is not available in the main memory then immediately the os will be loading the page already existing page from main memory to secondary memory and it will load the required page whatever the page required by the cpu that page should be loaded from secondary memory to the main memory so that concept we are calling it as a swap in another one is a swap out so swap out means loading pages from main memory to secondary memory okay so whenever the cpu doesn't find the page required page in main memory so one page will be moved back to the secondary memory and from the secondary memory the required page will be loaded into the main memory that is called an in in means secondary memory to main memory secondary memory to main memory so this is called as a swapping swap out that we are calling it as paging okay paging and if the cpu doesn't find the page required page in the main memory that we are calling it as a page fault. so what happens here so if cpu doesn't find the required page in the main memory so the page fault occurs and now the os will be yeah. applying this swap in and swap out, swap out of operations to load the required page into the main memory so the cpu will be spending a lot of time in servicing these page faults okay not in the execution right so hope you understood it spends more time not in the executing the process but swap in and swap out procedures that means a paging right so then that situation we call it as a thrashing so when the thrashing occurs when the thrashing occurs when it occurs obviously so thrashing occurs first condition when there are a lot of processes when there are lot of processes running okay lot of processes running in the main memory so 
this we can call it as high degree multi processing multi programming high degree multi programming so this concepts we have discussed in our previous sessions multi programming means so multiple processes executing at the same time okay and the second one if uh, existing physical memory existing physical memory cannot accommodate cannot accommodate the pages okay so obviously these are these both are related so one is a lot of processes running that means the number of processes are running in the main memory so then there will be a lot of page faults occurs for example see for example so main memory we are having so without diagram i'll, I'll explain it okay so the physical memory the physical memory we are having some 10 frames for example let us imagine okay so the number of processes running is equal to 5 okay so p1 p2 p3 p4 and p5 for example p1 requires some 5 pages p2 requires some 4 pages i mean p p1 is divided into 5 pages p2 divided into 4 pages p3 is divided into 7 pages and p4 is divided into some 4 pages again p5 again 3 pages so total frames are 10 so 10 should be distributed among these 5 okay for example uh, let us take equal distribution in our previous session we have seen uh, what are the different ways allocation of frames so equal distributions has been done so two processes given for each and every process so what is what happens here among five pages only two two pages can be accommodated in two frames what about the other three they have to wait in the secondary memory so whenever the cpu requests that particular page one page from these two frames should be moved back to the secondary memory and the third uh, i mean one among the three pages which resides in the secondary memory should be uh, moved to the main memory so swapping will be done here swap outs and swap ins right so this is the situation where the cpu spend more time in servicing this page files so this is called as a thrashing now so these are the two two situations where the thrashing occurs right next what are the and also if it spends a lot of time in servicing or in solving this page faults automatically thrashing leads to decrease in response time automatically the response time will be decreased because it takes much more time to get the required page from the secondary memory to the main memory so in order to complete a process right automatically it will be taking a lot of time so there will be a decrease in response time so thrashing decreases the response time and then see what are the symptoms okay how we can know how we can know that thrashing occurs okay so the first one is high number of page files okay if there are more number of page files automatically that gate that says that that is a thrashing okay high number of page files next increase in disk activities so what is meant by this disk act activity means a swap in and swap out process okay so required page will be swapped in and the page which completes its process it will be swapped out so disk activity that will be increased okay so this is nothing but swap in and swap out paging simply we can say it as a paging swap out 
and the third one third symptom okay is just now we have discussed it, slow response time so if the time if the response time is very low slow then automatically the reason is thrashing okay so these are the symptoms how we can know that thrashing occurs okay and the next causes okay causes so why the thrashing occurs okay why the thrashing occurs so here the first one is page replacement policy page replacement policy if the page replacement policy is very poor then automatically the thrashing occurs okay the page replacement policy is very poor among the different page replacement algorithms okay among pay different page replacement algorithms if the page replacement policy is uh, poor then automatically we can say it is a thrashing that occurs a thrashing next this also we have just now we have seen high degree of multi programming so all these are related so if we are saying it as a multi programming more number of processes will be loaded into the main memory right so there will be a lot of processes that are to be get executed by the cpu so if that many processes i mean the number of processes has been increased automatically that may lead also to thrashing so high degree of multi programming that is a one more cause next insufficient physical memory insufficient physical memory that means if the physical memory or a main memory is very very low then automatically that may also lead to thrashing because if the uh, physical memory is very low the number of frames will be very less so if the number of processes are more and the number of frames are very less it is very difficult to uh, execute each and every process with a limited number of frames so that also so that leads to paging concept okay that leads to paging swap in and swap out and the last one just now we have seen that is a lack of frames lack of frames lack of frames so these are the different causes thrashing different uh, situations which cause the thrashing so one is a poor replacement policy high degree of multi programming insufficient physical memory and the lack of frames now what are the techniques to prevent this thrashing okay what are the techniques techniques to prevent thrashing so majorly there are two techniques so one is working set model so we'll discuss these things in our next session i am just listing out the techniques working set model another one is uh, page fault frequency page fault frequency and other rest of the things are one is improving the page replacement policy so selecting the optimized page replacement policy so one is just identifying the effective page replacement policy and so increasing the physical memory increasing of physical memory so if you increase the physical memory automatically the number of frames will also be increased right so next high degree of multi programming so reduce the degree of multi programming okay so if we reduce the number of processes that are being executed by the cpu automatically the thrashing will not be occur okay so these are the cases to prevent the thrashing 
okay so again causes very uh, selecting the inefficient in, inefficient page replacement algorithm i mean policy and the high degree of multi programming and inefficient in insufficient physical memory as well as a lack of frames and in order to prevent the thrashing so there are mainly two models that is a work working set model and the page fault frequency so which we discuss in our next session and optimizing the page replacement algorithm selecting of uh, very good uh, page replacement algorithms and increasing of the physical memory automatically if we increase the physical memory the lag the number of frames will also be increased automatically the pages can be accommodated in the frames and next we can reduce the degree of multi programming so these are the techniques to prevent the thrashing so hope you understood what is thrashing so once again i'm repeating the definition thrashing means it's a situation when the cpu spends more time in solving the page faults okay rather than execution of a process so page fault means if the required page is not available in the main memory then the operating system have to load the required page from uh, secondary memory to the main memory so that is called as a page fault and swap in and swap out we are also calling it as a page right yes so i'll stop here and uh, if you really enjoyed the session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much